Hi everyone from Motion VFX. In this video, I will show you how to easily track titles from our various packs in DaVinci Resolve. First, let's add a title on this video. I will use a free M title pack, MLODV, that you will find on the Motion VFX website. The link will be in the description. This pack contains titles with drop zones, backgrounds, lower thirds, and main titles. I will drag and drop the title's MLODV bar over my clip and place it with the right place with the right duration. Then, I will press the B key to add cuts on my clip at the beginning and at the end of the title. And I will press the A key to get back to the selection mode. I will select the title and delete it. Then I will select the clip and do a right click on it. In the menu, I will select Fusion Clip. In Fusion, as we have transformed the clip in a Fusion clip, we will have only the part we need to work on, not the clip before or after. In the Node view, you will have your clip and the media out. So we need to track the footage, we will use a tracker. To get it, open the FX tab and click on Tools. Inside the tracking folder, we have three trackers available, the camera tracker for 3D tracking, the planar tracker and the regular tracker. We will use a regular one, so I will drag and drop the tracker between the media in and media out. By pressing the shift key, it will automatically insert and connect the tracker. Next, in the viewer, we will have our tracking point. It is composed by two rectangles. The one inside is a reference area that we want to track. In this case, we want to track the head of the man. So by clicking on the top left corner, you can move the reference area over the head. There is a zoom effect that will help us to be sure to be at the right place. Then I will adjust the size of the rectangle to match with the head of the man. You can see the reference area on the right inside the inspector. Then, you can adjust the outside area. This one defines the research area where Fusion will look at. The size of this area will depend on the motion of the object you want to track. If it moves slowly, you can reduce the size. If it is fast, the area should be large enough to get the object inside the next frame. In this case, it's quite slow, so I can reduce it around the reference area. Next, inside the inspector, I will switch the adaptive mode to every frame, so the reference will update frame after frame. Now we're ready to start the tracking and I click on the track forward button and Fusion will analyze the video. Okay, the track is done, we can see the path. Let's add our title. In the FX library, click on Templates, Edit, and Titles. Inside, you will find the Motion VFX folder where you will find all your M title packs. So I will select MLODV and drag and drop the MLODV bar inside the project. If you move the playhead, you won't see any titles. We need to connect our title to the other elements. So from the little square on the right, I will connect it to the green arrow of the tracker. The green arrow is the entry for the foreground. Once connected, still nothing inside the viewer. Select the tracker and in its inspector, you will have to select the operation tab and tell the tracker what to do. So in the operation drop down menu, you will select match move. The tracker node become a composite node that combine our title with the video background. Then select the title. Inside the inspector, you will find all the parameters we have in the edit page. So we can customize the title by reducing the size and moving the title. Next, we just have to go back to the edit page. To get the real-time playback, we will select the render cache feature. To know more about the render cache feature, don't hesitate to look at our free DaVinci Resolve Academy lessons on our YouTube channel. The caching is done. Let's play it. The cool thing with this workflow is that you can edit at any time your title. We just have to go back to the Fusion page and add some changes. For example, here I want to promote the Twitch account so I can change the icon and the text. Come back to the edit page and you have the new title available. Okay, let's have a look at the second example. With this one, the camera is moving towards the bikers. I will add the MLODV avatar preset on my clip. As before, I will cut the clip at the beginning and the end of the title. And I will convert this part as a fusion clip. In the fusion page, there is another way to add the tracker. 
press Shift Spacebar, the Select Tool floating palette will appear. You just have to type Tracker and select the right one and click on Add. It will automatically connect to the node selected. For this example, I will move the play head at the end of the clip as I want to track the head of the woman. I will have more details at the end to start. I will set the tracking point on the left earring. For this track, the camera is moving toward the woman, so there is a zoom effect. To apply the change of the size on the title, we need a second tracking point. With two points, the tracker can analyze the distance of the two points and the angle. So I will click on the Add button to get a second tracker. This one, I will put it on the right earring. I will change the adaptive mode to every frame. And this time, as the player is at the end of the clip, I will track reverse. Analyze is done. Let's add our title. First, I will set the tracker on the Match Move mode in the Operation tab. and I will connect the title to the tracker. We can see that the title is a little bit inclined, like the woman head. To resolve this, I will just uncheck Rotation in the Operation tab of the tracker, and we are good. Then I will customize the title with the size and the position. I will add the right Brazilian flag inside the drop zone. I will adjust the size. I will remove the drop shadow and add the name of the woman. Let's have a look at the animation. The title is too big at the end, I will reduce it. And we are good. If we go back to the edit page, we can cache it and play it in real time. Like the previous example, you can go back to Fusion at any time and modify the title. It will update automatically in the edit page. I hope this tutorial helps you to understand the tracking workflow of our M title elements in DaVinci Resolve. Don't hesitate in the comment section to tell us if you have specific topics to cover. For more tips and tricks, look at our DaVinci Resolve Academy series. Thanks for watching. Ciao ciao. Bye bye.